In this analysis video, we're going to take a look at the swing of Arnold Palmer. Now, Arnold Palmer was the first golfer to really make golf cool. So every golf instructor uh, owes a debt of gratitude to Arnold Palmer. He's allowed us to make a living at something that we all enjoy and has really helped shape most of our lives. In this video, I'm going to help you see how his sequencing and the way that he used his body to power the swing is something that you can try to emulate. I'll also talk to you about um, how as you get older, potentially your path and your bracing may change, and Arnold Palmer changed with grace. You'll be able to see him hit some quality shots even though his body changed because he kept that sequencing and body powered swing. So we're going to look at Arnold Palmer's transition from a couple different swings. So here are a couple swings, and what I want you to focus on is looking at the timing of his lower body changing direction. So what's happening is during the backswing, he's shifting his pressure into that back leg, and he's going to push with that back leg to stop his body from rotating away from the target, and then he's going to keep pushing in order to uh, trigger rotation towards the target. So we'll look from a couple different views so that you can kind of see the timing of when he's really pushing against the ground. But you'll see, particularly with this driver swing over on the right, how his lower body is changing direction while his arms are still finishing the swing. Then as his body changes direction, he's basically using his whole body to pull through his arms on the club. So the early stages of the downswing, you're not going to see a lot of uh, straightening of the arms, you're not going to see a lot of arm activity. It's more body movements getting the club into delivery position and then the arms transferring that energy during the release. Over here on the left, we'll be able to see this in a little bit greater detail because of the frame rate. So right around here, he's starting to push in the opposite direction. You can see how his lower body changes direction before his uh, arms and club change direction, even on a uh, iron, so it, it doesn't only work when you're trying to apply max power like with the driver. And you'll see that his body has brought his arms down into about this delivery position before there's any real straightening of that trail elbow. I think it, his sequencing was beautiful and that's part of the reason why he was able to have uh, such a consistent career over such a great period of time. So we have lots of drills on our site to help you work on um, powering the swing with your body as well as working on your your timing tempo and sequencing and I think that's one of the things that Arnold had trained early in his swing um, that allowed him to have such good success. Now one of the trademarks of Arnold's swing is that um, unorthodox finish and I always preach that if you look at Arnold at about waist height or what I refer to as follow through position you can see that it looks classically uh, just like any of the great swingers of the golf ball. It's really how he absorbs speed from this follow through position into the end of his finish and from watching him do a couple of these drills you can see that he was working on potentially keeping his head down and pointed at the golf ball longer and so that would stop body rotation so he wouldn't be able to absorb as much of the speed with body rotation if he did a lot of these slow motion or shorter drills with the extended emphasis on keeping his head down. So one of the ways that you could then absorb speed would be going more into the shoulders and that's potentially how part of his uh, unique flair for the game really developed. But if you look at what he does during his release through follow through, if he then just continued his body and let that left arm fold naturally while letting his head rotate around, he would have looked. He would have had a more classic finish position uh, than what he currently or what he did throughout his career. So, hopefully, by learning the different pieces of the swing that we talk about on our site, you'll be able to understand which parts of the swing are just your style and which part of the swings are critical pieces. What Arnold did as part of his finish is more of a style movement than a critical piece. He had all the great critical pieces of powering the swing and a great solid release to get into that uh, very classic looking follow through position. Arnold frequently shared a, a story about how he was told to keep his grip exactly the same. Um, and that's a great fundamental, but what this camera view is going to show us is the fundament fundamental of using that lower body sequencing to help him initiate his transition. So with this close up view, you can really see through here that just as the arm leaves 
camera view, his lower body is already starting to push in the direction of the target. Um, remember, you're going to push before it shows up on movement. So he's pushing through that uh, right leg, probably starting right about now, and then he's just going to keep pushing to help him shift his weight before that left leg is going to push right around this period here to help him initiate his release. Now one of the goals of this series of videos is to show you how, um, how swings evolve as you age. And so here we have two different swings of him around 80 years old, so well after his prime. But what you'll see is that by his ability to maintain his sequencing, you'll see that his lower body still starts well before his upper body, and you'll see that he keeps the, the arms a little bit more passive and and during the early stages of the downswing and uses them more actively during the later stages or during the release. So by keeping that same sequencing, he was still able to hit some really quality golf shots um, even well into the ages of the early 80s. So now on the left, we have him hitting one of his more famous uh, shots in his later years. Uh, this was a driver on, off the deck at his own tournament. Um, and you'll, what you can really see, again, is the timing of when those arms get involved. Now, if you've tried delaying the timing of your arms and you tend to either hit it off to the right um, or you tend to uh, stand up a little bit more and hit behind the golf ball, then it usually means that you have a club face closing problem. And the, the sequencing or the reason you fire your arms too early is because that's how your brain coordinates where the club face is pointing. There are better ways and ways that match up with the body sequencing that Arnold is, Arnold Palmer is demonstrating in these clips. Okay, so over on the left we have him with a mid iron, and then over on the right uh, with a mid iron uh, during the par three contest. Again, um, more in his twilight playing days. Uh, but what what you'll tend to see is uh, with his younger swing, he's going to finish his backswing more with his body pivot. Um, and a, with a fair amount of left side bend. You can really see the steepness of the shoulder plane. Um, so the shoulder's pointing well, or very close to the golf ball. Um, and you'll see them maintain that position into transition. It's uh, kind of more typical of a body powered swing. Now over here on the right, you can see that he, he doesn't have nearly as much flexibility, so his arms separate a lot more as he gets towards the top of the swing, and his arms are gonna work in more of a steep position. So what'll tend to happen when those arms get into a little bit more of a steep position is it's harder to close the club face, and so you will tend to have those arms bend a little bit more on the way through. Um, so we can see that he's using a little bit more of an arm-powered swing as he got older, um, but the driver swings that we saw before uh, he was still able to uh, produce some of the body powered sequencing when he was able to stand a little bit taller. So when you're working on your flexibility, uh, maintaining side bend and thoracic spine movement is going to be really helpful for being able to uh, play great golf um, as you get older because that's naturally one of the movement patterns that people tend to lose first. So. If you want to understand how to sequence your body like Arnold or you want to understand how to square the club face so that you can uh, sequence your body, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or head over to golfsmartacademy.com, sign up for a free membership and take a look at our nearly 600 videos to help you understand all the nuances that make the stock tour swing work.